Hi guys, this is Tanya from My Fancy Design Shop. Today I'm going to show you how to use my paint smear brush set for Procreate. So what you want to do is grab the brush pen or the monoline, grab the color black, and what you want to do now is litter your word. So I'm going to keep it simple, choose the word art. Now as you can see, because of the settings of the brush, you'll see some of the lines overlapping. Now there's two ways to fix that. You can grab the smudge tool, grab my blender brush, very lightly go over the lines where they overlap and you'll see it kind of disappear. You will lose some of the texture of the streakiness, um, but it won't be noticeable when you color in your lettering. Now that's one way. Another way is to work in layers. So if we take away the T, what you're gonna do is open up another layer above the A and the R. You're gonna letter your T. And what you can do is go back down to the bottom layer, grab your eraser tool and erase that exit stroke see how it disappears. So there's two ways um, to clean that up. Either use a smudge tool or work in layers, whichever you feel more comfortable with. Um, it really depends on your personal preference. Let's do the crossbar. We'll do the crossbar on another layer. Let's see. There we go. What we can do now is then erase that overlap. Okay, so we have that. Now what you wanna do is merge all three layers together. So you can take two of your fingers and just pinch them together. Now they're all on one layer. Okay, now we want to alpha lock it. So you can take your two fingers, swipe to the right, or you can simply tap on the layer, click alpha lock, and you'll see it a checkerboard on the layer and also a check, a check mark, oh, which I actually turned off. Okay, now it's back on. Now you just want to color in your lettering. So I like to use my monoline brush and just color in your lettering with any color that you'd like. I like to also overlap my layers a bit. So when we blend it, it looks, um, gives a more blended look. Okay, let's go with orange. And let's pick yellow. Okay. Next you want to do is open the adjustments tool, click on Gaussian blur, and you want to swipe to the right. A bit and depending do you see let's see if you can see them you can see it best here you'll see it blend the colors um, so I think for this one I'm gonna keep around 18 so it's like between 18 19 percent it really depends on how you um, layer your colors what colors you use it really all depends so just see what looks good for you okay Next, what you want to do is, now this is optional, you can go back to the adjustments, hit hue, saturation, brightness. At the very bottom, you'll see hue, saturation, brightness. I like to bump up the saturation a little and even bump up the brightness a bit. Really all a personal preference, what you want. I just feel it makes the, the texture pop a little bit more. Then what you also can do is duplicate your lettering and we're gonna make a drop shadow. Choose the color black. You wanna fill that layer, so make sure alpha lock is on. Then you click on fill layer. Now you wanna take alpha lock off. Hit the selection tool or the arrow and you wanna bring it down slightly to the bottom right. Now you'll see it kind of be offset. Go back to adjustments, hit Gaussian Blur, and I like to bring it up to about 10%. Okay. 
Okay. Click on the top layer that has your color, select, hit the bottom layer, that's the black lettering, and you want to hit clear. Okay, go back to the arrow, offset it a little bit more down to the bottom right. Go back to adjustments, opacity, and bring it down. So you just kind of see the darker outline. Okay, so I think right now I'm at about 22%. Again, all personal preference. So that just gives it a little bit more. Then what you can do is also, this brush pack comes with four paper textures. You can insert a photo. I'll grab that one. Now my four paper textures do come in a square size only because a lot of um, Procreate users post on Instagram. So it just makes it easy. Now, if we're working, this is actually a screen size canvas that I'm using. You can import your canvas texture and then just go on the very bottom. If you see right here, it's fit to canvas. Quick and easy fix. Now, what you want to do, make that layer, if it's not already, your very top layer. You're going to click on it, change the setting to linear burn. And now you can actually see the texture pop through your lettering. Another option is to change the brightness of it. Um, sometimes you want a little bit a lighter or darker canvas. It really depends. The more lighter, the lighter you go, you kind of lose. You can't really see the texture much. Um, let's reset it. So. This is actually the lightest texture that I that comes with the pack. Um, but again, if you can see, you can change. No, not this one, I guess. There we go. Let me get a little bit brighter. Okay. With that, let me show you with another texture. See, this is my dark one. So again. Let's change that to linear burn. We're gonna take off that white texture. We're gonna fit to canvas. Okay. So you see that's kind of dark for these colors. You can open up that again and you see how that brightens it up a bit. You can darken it, brighten. This kind of changes it a bit depending how saturated you want it. Um, so you see all the difference of color, saturation, and brightness that you can do. Again, personal preference, I tend to go more light and white. Um, but that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can message me on Instagram or here on YouTube. And if you are on social media, definitely tag me in your designs. I would love to see how you use this brush set. My Instagram is at my fancy design shop and I hope you enjoy lettering with us. Thanks.